Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Can. It's here on Canon Camera. What's up? Basically, shut the fuck up, baby. You don't laugh at my intro. Basically, the fucking trials map this week is the Cauldron. And as much as we want it to be the the Burning Shrine again, it's never gonna happen. Just like how we always want Zer to sell anything but the Universal Remote. Hell, I'd rather him sell the fucking Null and Beyond than the fucking Universal Remote. Piece of shit shotgun. I've used that thing once, alright. Once. Although I do have a goal of having, like, since there's 100 heavy ammo synth, like, 50,000 heavy, heavy ammo synth in my tower inventory. Because that'd be just awesome. I bet someone does. But anyway, I am bringing you the newest Trials map, which is the Cauldron. And I wanted to tell you a few strategies that I have witnessed while playing this map. First off, like, any Trials map... You cannot be the first one to die. You cannot be the first one to die. If you die, it's just like in Call of Duty. If you get first blooded, you might as well just put down your pants and jump off the map and just let them butt fuck you, alright? If you die first, you will lose the round. Unless, you know, they're terrible or whatever, but... That's step number one. Do not die first. I don't know if you see it in this recording, but if you see one of us die first, we'll probably lose the round. You know, unless I, it's, you know, unless I go majorly clutch. Which I do all the time. Nah, I'm just totally not being modest. But basically, guys, so the second thing you'll want to do is you got to get middle control. One guy has to be in the middle, while the other two, you can either have two in the middle or th and one on the right or left, depending on where you spawn. And just basically have one person in middle at all times have control of that me and my buddy snipes from real tko gaming we played a match once where they're always sent one warlock middle we lost four straight because he kept shutting us down as soon as he would kill one of us the other people from the other side would converge and we just get fucked but once we started teaming up on the middle guy shutting him down we won five straight and won the game i'm telling you guys middle control in this map is absolutely necessary it is so super duper necessary also don't try and be innovative don't do any of that use i always I, i'm a connoisseur for the last word i like the last word all right the hit fire thing is just awesome i have to use the thorn for this map because every single fucking person uses a thorn and a fell winters and a grenades and horseshoes rocket launcher but i'll get into that later so if you don't have a thorn, go and get yourself a motherfucking thorn. If you do have a thorn, then use that shit, alright? Do not try and use the last word. It's so unfair that they can use a thorn and just like two-shot you, it's ridiculous. So use the thorn. Next up, I'd recommend a Felwinters or a Matador, maybe even a Judgment. And then third, the Fear, obviously, because I'm rocking it and it just has a beast last name. But no, you need something with grenades and horseshoes and casket mag. So try and reroll until you get those. <laughs> So, now that you have middle control on this map, it's just a waiting game. You keep poking and looking on their side, while your teammates keep distracting them while they're looking, and as soon as you get one down, as soon as you guys kill one player on the enemy team, that's when you immediately swarm onto their side of the map and just fuck every single one of them, every single time. It's seriously just a waiting game. If they let you get middle control, you should not lose, alright? If you get middle control, you should not lose. Do not challenge, do not try and get it get the kill because you're a champion, don't. Team shot, shoot two thorns each, or just one headshot and one body shot should be enough. And once that guy burns to death, you all just run it into that room. They're not going to know what to do because there's three people, because of the two people, there's three people now running into that room. They're going to panic and they're going to, you're going to win. You got to remember that, guys. Look at that guy teabagging me. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. I mean, why would you teabag when you're 4-1? and one? Come on. Try and remember those two strategies, guys. It works for the Burning Shrine. It, it works for any map. It's on this map specifically because it's such close quarters and there's so many different angles. Pinching is a must, all right. And I don't like rehearse these beforehand, so I kind of just wing it. Do I clutch it here? 
Oh, oh. Do I clutch it? Guys, guys, do I clutch it? One. Oh, wait. Ah. Oh. Everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. But this is shaping up to be the last round, guys. So just remember what I said. Middle control, and as soon as you get one dead, that's when you pinch from both sides and you get the other two dead. Works like a charm, and that's how I was able to take my food characters and six other people through the Trials of Osiris Flawless. What is that, like... 70 something to know? I have no idea. Look at this, look at this. Boom, bitch! Fuck you! Alright, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll fucking see you on the next one. I love you guys. Bye bye.